A, a mummy, three times older than King Tut, has been discovered in the Nevada desert. It was found in 1940, about 12 miles east of the town of Fallon. It's a discovery that could possibly unlock some of humankind's early mysteries. But tonight on Special Assignment, Channel 3's Vince Sterla tells us scientists may never get a chance to unlock those mysteries. Outside of Fallon, Nevada, the curious have come to learn more about an ancient society of people who once called this cave home. They discovered that the cave was underwater when it was formed 20,000 years ago until 7,000 years ago. Not far from this cave, a mummy has been discovered. A mummy that may reveal the secrets of an even older society. One that dates back to the dawn of civilization. This is extremely significant. This is unprecedented. We haven't had a find of this importance in my lifetime. One thing that makes the mummy, known as the spirit cave man, so important are these fine hand-woven fabrics discovered at the burial site. These textiles represent a, an extremely sophisticated ability to weave fabric by hand in a time where we didn't realize that people were doing that before. The mummy was discovered tightly bound up in this matting. Out of respect for the dead, this photograph and this drawing are the only two pictures scientists will allow to be publicly displayed. Recent tests reveal that the mummy is 9,000 years old. That's three times older than any other mummy yet discovered in North America. That news has stunned archaeologists because a mummy can tell scientists how people back then lived, what diseases they had, even what food they ate. Scientists can get that information by studying the mummy's DNA. That requires cutting a small piece of tissue from the body. That it shouldn't be done. And that, says Paiute Shoshone tribal leader Alvin Moyles, is desecrating the dead. In Moyles' case, maybe even a dead relative. So in your mind, this is an ancestor. That is true. The mummy was discovered near Paiute Shoshone land. Moyles believes the mummy's spiritual journey has been disturbed and that the spirit cannot find peace until the body has been properly reburied. You are bothering the spirit. They're not to be bothered. They're, they're, put, in, they're put to rest and that's where they should be left. But scientists claim that the mummy is so old that he couldn't possibly be related to the Paiute Shoshones, that the mummy's tribe was here thousands and thousands of years before anybody else. They do not appear similar to any living Native American in North America. They have receding cheekbones, narrow face, long face. Some, some Indians have some of those traits, but as a group, those are Caucasoid traits. The two sides are now caught in a catch-22. One way to prove kinship is through the DNA test. But the tribe doesn't want that because it would require further disturbance of the remains. Uh, I don't believe that uh, the society today, majority of the people that have people buried in your culture would like to have your grandparents dug up because some scientists once come through and study it. Whether or not scientists ever get to study the mummy is a matter for the U.S. government's Bureau of Land Management to decide. The DNA evidence would be definitive for ruling out certain groups. You can't necessarily prove with it which group it was, but you can rule out contending parties. Until a decision can be made, the mysterious spirit cave mummy will remain trapped in limbo. Yeah, he's kind of in the legal, spiritual, ethical limbo. In Carson City, Nevada, Vince Sterla, Channel 3 reports. Even mummies can't avoid the law and bureaucracy, it appears. Many archaeologists agree it's entirely possible the mummy is not related to any existing tribe in North America. Yeah, it sounds like uh, the mummy predated most of the Indian tribes from that, that part way. of the country.